Hey guys, we just want to show you quickly how to uh, strap down a ladder properly, safely, and legally. So the first thing when you're putting a ladder on the roof of your car, understand that you're only allowed three runs off of the end of the car. So if you look here, we go one, two, three runs. That's most we can have it off the back. And if we take a 36 foot ladder, or a 32 foot ladder as we have here, it's 16 feet. Uh, majority of cars range between 12 and 15 feet. So is this one being a little bit more of a compact car and probably being about 13 feet, that allows us to have the three feet off the back and nothing running off of the front. It uh, finishes nicely right at the front of the bumper. So it's evened out perfectly. Um, another thing is with the ropes, please make sure that you tie these ropes up before you put them on the ladder so you don't have your rope dangling down. What we can do with this one, quickly just tie this up. No, it's not going to hold, but that's okay because you can see what I did. You know what I mean. We're just going to take this ladder right back up and use it anyways on this job site. So, first thing with the straps, I see people putting these straps in like this and tying them this way. These aren't the appropriate ways of doing that because if you put your strap this way, it allows your ladder to still go side to side. And we've had ladders come off the side, and although the strap won't allow the ladder to fall. It's sitting here doing damage to your car and dangling off the edge, which of course is not safe. So the way that we do it is we go up and over and back. So we throw our strap over. Okay, let's start that part again. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I forgot to do here is I want to put it right through the small hole on the clock. So that way we have this sitting nicely on this side hooked up and then we can throw it over if you come over here please note that when I go down and under it is not on this side of the of, of your um, ladder rack it is on the inside part so when I tighten it it pulls these ladders together. Now, if I only had one ladder here, I'd do the same. I would also come down here and go over. So when I tighten this up, it can pull or push the ladder and put all the pressure down on to strap it tight. If I were to put it here, I'm only putting pressure on the top, not on the sides. And it's important that I have pressure on the side of the ladder as well. We come back over here. Take my second strap. Okay, and not only am I putting it through here, but I can still hook it right onto the, this roof rack. The most important thing when actually doing these is to pull the strap all the way through. So you want to put it through the hole here and pull the strap all the way through. Please don't pull it through a little bit and then start uh, ratcheting uh, because it'll create a bit of a jam. So you want to pull it through, start ratcheting it nice and tight. And as you can see now, this ladder is not going anywhere and I've only put one of two straps on. And I pull back. And the only reason why it pulls up is because I have yet to put my second strap on. I will end up doing the same here, but my ladder cannot slide out this way because I put all the pressure and it's pressuring down on the ladder and holding it to the roof rack. Uh, with the extra strap, the easiest thing to do, open the door, throw it in, close it so it's not dangling out in the wind. And again, we will do a second strap right here onto this ladder. Keep in mind, you can also stack your ladders up. So if you have four or five ladders, you can put two more on top. If you got a fifth, you have to put that ladder in the middle of the two and then again, straps over, under, both back, tighten them, and then that way you have secure ladders.